Hello viewers, today we are going to look into how we can install git bash on windows. So let us start our journey here. I will click on this uh, button which I have already there. It, uh, we are on this URL now and uh, we can download the windows uh, version for git bash. It has two versions 32 bit and 64 bit. We are going with the 64 bit and it is uh, downloading now. After the download is uh, finished, we will launch the installer and we'll go through the uh, wizard for uh, our software step by step. So I am starting the installer now and uh, on the first screen we have uh, been asked for the permissions. We are hitting yes and now we have the license so this is a uh, open source software so we have the general public license the gnu license and uh, we accept it and we move to the next step so here we have the option to select for uh, destination location for our software we will go with the default option so that it is easier to find it later on when we need to uh, find its location for the installation on the next screen we will select the components which we want to install so we are only ch changing one option that is to install the icon on the desktop other options we will keep the same on next screen we are asked uh, the name for the start menu folder and we are going with the same default option and if we want to not install this uh, uh, this start menu folder we can check this uh, option and it will not uh, create that folder but we are going with the default option to create it on the next screen we have to choose the editor we are choosing the notepad plus plus editor and uh, on the next screen we have to decide about the initial branch so we are going with the second option that is to use the main as the initial branch and on the next screen we have been asked to adjust the path environment so we will go with the recommended option it will add the necessary path uh, variables for us and uh, there are some details about uh, this option so we will go to the next step and we will use the bundled option for open SSH and uh, then on the next screen we are going with the same default option for using the open SSL library for HTTPS transport on the next screen uh, we are going with the default option once again to use the checkout with Windows style whereas the commit will be with the Unix style line endings the LF and uh, CRLF options on the next screen we are choosing the terminal emulator and we are going with the default option that is main TTY. On next screen, we are going to choose the option for git pull default behavior, and uh, it will it is fast forward or merge for default option, and we are going with it. And on next screen, we are going to choose the credential helper, and we are going with the default option. And, uh, here we are not going to change anything for extra options and uh, on the next screen there are experimental options and we are leaving them unchecked we are not going to use experimental options so we are installing it now the installer has started its work and uh, in a few moments uh, the git bash will be all ready so here uh, it is nearing the completion now and uh, here we go this is all done now just uh, a moment so this is now done and uh, we can start uh, to complete the installation of git setter must restart your computer would you like to restart now uh, we don't want to restart it we will just finish it and 
we will go to the desktop and we will start the git bash from here and uh, here we have the git bash so we can run the git command so here we can see the git command options and uh, we can hit git dash v so this gives us the git version as well so that's it for this tutorial and uh, i hope that it is helpful for you and uh, please subscribe this channel for more videos like this and thanks for